thanks for clicking the video. My name is Josh. I'm a ballpoint pen artist. This is such a weird video to make. So I first wanted to make an update as to how far I am on the project and then I sort of realized I never explained what it is my project even is or what I'm doing. So I guess this is a, a two-in-one video where I'm going to one explain what it is I have started and embarked on and two or secondly the update, you know, how far into it I am, how I'm doing, and when I think I'm going to be done with it. So first off, what am I doing? I am creating or attempting to create a hyper-realistic portrait with just a ballpoint pen. It's an odd goal, it's an odd thing to pursue, but it's, uh, hmm, what is it? It's kind of fucking crazy. That's true. That's definitely true. I have drawn with a pen sort of forever. I really like it. It's simple. I don't, I don't need other things, right? I, I want the most simplified version to do something, and then I want to master it. And so in terms of art or drawing, what I like to draw, what I do, drawing, you know, I could do graphite, charcoal, colored pencil, painting, all these different things, and, and I have to... There's a bunch of them, you know, multiple pencils, multiple uh, markers or pieces of charcoal. But with a pen, it simplifies it. I just need one. Or a lot. Or sometimes I use a lot. But, you know, I'm, it's the, the tool that I'm using is just one. I just need this and that's it. And that's what I like because I hate things. Things. Too many things. Ugh. Just get in the way and slow me down. So yeah, so that's why I draw the pen. And then, you know, why hyperrealism? That's just the end goal to everything that I do. If I do something, I want to throw myself at it. I want to become the best that I can potentially be at it. It's maybe an annoying habit, personality trait, whatever, but it just is what it is with me. I've always been that way. So, a couple years ago when I started pursuing art more seriously, I realized that one of the goals, or I don't want to call it an end goal, but, but one of the goals is to achieve a, a mastery with shading and using the tool of a ballpoint pen. Honing that ability and craft so much that I can create what I would call a hyper-realistic portrait. Now, if we're being honest, I'm not sure if I'm actually touching on hyper-realism here. I think it's close, but that is one of the, the reasons or one of the driving forces of this project and why I started on it. It's just, it just is what it is with me. I just want to be the best that I can at it, so if I'm doing photorealistic portraits, the next step is hyperrealism. And why with a pen? Well, that's just, I just draw with a pen. I just like drawing with a pen, so I'm going to keep drawing with a pen. And, you know, I could use a different kind of tool and potentially do the same portrait in half the time, but I'm stubborn and I like using my pen. And I think it's kind of unique at this point because I don't think there are many people doing or attempting to do hyperrealistic ballpoint pen pieces, but yeah. So that's what my project is and why I started on it. Secondly, the update. How am I doing? I just finished the head and hair this week and started on the center part of the shirt. I'm 200, I don't know, 60 some hours in, maybe 60, 59, I don't know, somewhere around there in the mid 200s. I think I'm going to finish around the 400 hour mark, maybe mid 400s. I'm not sure, but we'll see. It has been driving me insane. I guess in a good way. It's been extraordinarily challenging in just about every way I imagined it would be. 
it has... It leaves me sort of with brain fog at the end of each session because I'm really putting a lot of mental energy into it. But that's good. That's not a bad thing. That's, that's a good thing. I guess I'm going to show it now. I don't know if I'm going to show it while I'm talking. Maybe I will. I don't know. But I think I explained everything. Expect a... When I'm finished with the piece, I'm also going to create some type of video to go along with it that sort of mirrors the sentiment I want to be portrayed in the actual portrait, right? So the, I want the video and the portrait to be almost synonymous, that if you see the portrait or if you see or watch the video, you know, they're giving you the same sort of feeling, I guess. That's all. So expect that, I don't know, probably one or two weeks after I'm done with the portrait. And also moving forward, I'm not sure how much I'm going to show. I think because I have the arm in hand left, I think I think this is going to be really cool. Uh, the textures and, and the, the shadows and the colors on the tattoo. So I think for some suspense purposes, I'm going to just be showing little clips of me drawing and not actually showing the drawing in its entirely moving forward after today. But that's all. I hope I explained what I wanted to explain. And please like and subscribe. Please follow along on this journey. I do a lot of other videos on this channel, or kind of, not really. It's mostly art, but I'm slowly branching into other things, so anyways. Uh, yeah, deuces. <laughs>